So, WWE Elimination Chamber. It took place on Saturday at Saudi Arabia. Um, and I believe this is the first um, international WWE event of the year. Um, it was interesting that they did it in Saudi Arabia, something that I rarely hear that the company does a pay-per-view event over there. Um, but it's great because those people needed to see their favorite wrestlers. They needed that entertainment. But uh, let's go. First things first, Roman Reigns versus Goldberg for the Universal <laughs> Championship. I'm laughing because I just wasn't sold on it. When Bill Goldberg came back and issued a challenge to Roman Reigns for the title, I don't know what WWE is thinking. They continue to bring part-time wrestlers um, and basically challenge them to a title. I don't have a problem with part-timers coming back um, just as long as you use them right. But the fact that Bill Goldberg, who's way past his prime, and I love Bill Goldberg, he's one of my favorite wrestlers of the WCW era. Hell, I even liked him in 2003 when he came to the WWE. But I just feel like he's way past his prime. Um, his wrestling um, technique is, is not the same. And <laughs> I just, I understand that they were supposed to wrestle two years ago at WrestleMania, but I just felt that the booking and the storyline was just like, blah. So I had no expectations of this match and it only lasted like six minutes. Um, Bill Goldberg, he caught Roman Reigns not once but twice with a spear. But then Roman Reigns, um, he um, basically put him to sleep and he ended up winning the match. It was, it was, a, it was I, I gave it a, a C minus for the match. But again, I had no expectations. Um, the company just continued to do horrible bookings, horrible storylines, and bring part-timers and not using them right. Next, you had the Elimination Chamber match of the Raw's Women's Championship. Um, I'm not gonna go full into detail about that, but the last two that were remaining were Bianca Blair, which is one of my favorites um, um, female wrestlers in the company, and uh, Alexa Bliss. Um, they were the last two left in the Elimination Chamber, which Bianca Blair ended up winning the match. And I knew, I had a feeling that she was going to. But it was interesting for the most part. Um, that match was better than um, Roman Reigns and Bill Goldberg. But it was interesting. And, you know, I'm glad that Bianca Blair um, won the match. And now she's going to WrestleMania. The tag team matchup. Charlotte Flair and Sonya um, Deville versus Ronda Rousey and Naomi. Now, <sighs> Ronda Rousey, she had one arm tied behind her back because she had told Sonya that she would beat her with one arm, um, with one arm tied behind their back so therefore in the match that was a stipulation Ronda Rousey had a had a one arm tied behind the back my thing is that when it's two against two um if you're gonna have one person on one side doing it I if it were me I would rather have another person on the other side have their rope tied behind their back I don't know I just feel weird that one person out of the four you know has her arm tied behind the back but Ronda Rousey, she did a good job, you know, um, using her legs, um, her other arm. She she did a pretty good job maneuvering with one with one rope um, tied behind her back. Um, but it's funny because be, when the match started, um, Sonya, um, who had a cast in her shoulder because of Ronda Rousey, um, she ended up taking it off. So therefore. 
Um, I, I personally laugh when I see stuff like that. And Ronda Rousey clearly um, smiled when she saw that. Um, but I'm glad that Ronda Rousey won. And Ronda Rousey and um, Naomi won that match. I'm sorry that I have to continue looking at my notes because um, a person that used to follow wrestling so much, um, I still do to this day, but now nowadays is not as much compared to um, the Ruthless Aggression era and Attitude era. So I constantly had to like write down exactly, you know, who I'm going to talk about. So, and I saw the match, um, the full match yesterday. So, but um, the company did a good job to pick Naomi and Ronda Rousey to win that match. Oh yes, to remind you guys, Ronda Rousey versus Charlotte Flair SmackDown's Women's Championship at WrestleMania. Madcap Moss versus Drew McIntyre. Now, um, and this was a anywhere, anywhere Falls count match. The one thing that stood out to me about this match is that Drew McIntyre, he botched the move and Moss landed on his head. And when I saw that, I just said, ooh, like, I don't know how serious his injury may be, but what I respect about Moss is that he got up, um, he just continued. Um, so that showed me um, his toughness, his commitment to willing to continue with the match. But that was, uh, oh my God, when I saw it, in, when I saw it happen and then when I saw it again in replay, I just said to myself, I hope he's all right. I hope it doesn't become a much more serious injury um, days after that, um, I don't know if he's gonna be missing some time. Um, we just have to wait and see for more news and reports to come. But they botched the move and that did not look good. Um, um, Drew McIntyre ended up winning the match, but I just hope that Moss is all right because that looked pretty scary, that um, him landing on his head. And now this is probably my favorite match of the Elimination Chamber. Lita versus Becky Lynch. You had old school versus new school. Even though I feel weird to say that Lita is old school because I don't know it. I, I, don't, I really don't know it. It just feels like she's still young at heart in her soul and then her athleticism. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, if you want to put it that way, okay, fine. Becky, you have a, a Hall of Famer versus a future Hall of Famer, so this was um, a great booking on the WWE's part. And like I said, it's my favorite match. Both of them, you know, tremendous athleticism. They have a lot of chemistry together in the ring. And, and I can't forget to say this, but I saw a video of Lita's training and preparation for her match against Becky Lynch. And that showed me, and that showed me, and, and also it showed in the match itself that Lita did not miss a beat. She still got it. She could still hit the, the Lita saw. Um, she, like many of us, I'm pretty sure many of us wrestling fans, we had some concerns of how Lita was gonna perform against Becky Lynch, but it did not disappoint. She delivered, she did an, an outstanding job. And for a moment, it looked like she was about to win. But it, when she hit her with the twist of fate and with the, with the lead assault, I thought she was gonna win. I feel like that was gonna be her first title since 2004, I believe it was. But, um, but no, um, Becky Lynch survived and she won the match. But what I liked after the match is you saw an, an emotional leader. She got a standing ovation from the crowd as well deserved. And it was a very chilling moment, very emotional moment to see that. But yeah, Lita versus Becky Lynch, I'll give that a B plus. And the other matches were C pluses, C minus C in general. But this is the only match that I could say that I'll give it higher than that, so I gave it a B plus. And then you have the main event. 
I was surprised in the sense that Bobby Lashley seemed like he legitimately, legitimately was hurt and he didn't even get a chance to enter the match. I was disappointed the fact that the match ended the way it did. Like I knew that, I had a feeling that, Bo that Brock Lesnar was gonna win, but it's the way he won. Um, when Bobby Lashley left the Elimination Chamber, I thought that towards the end, I was expecting that he was gonna return to the ring and somehow be Brock Lesnar. But no, that wasn't the case. Brock Lesnar, for some reason, I think he went off script because he did even wait his turn for him to enter um, the match. He just broke um, the door and he just went crazy. He eliminated Seth Rollins. He basically cleaned house. So I have a feeling he went off script there. Um, he might get punished, but not severely punished. But Bobby Lashley, man, I just, I mean, I don't, I don't blame Vince in the sense that he had this, he had this fantasy that, or this dream of having a champion versus champion match, which is going to happen now with Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. But I don't know how I feel about, you have Bobby Lashley who just recently won the title and now he lost the title at Elimination Chamber. I feel like that was way too fast. So I don't, I don't understand that. So, but there is a chance that Bobby Lashley might seriously got hurt. Um, supposedly he injured his shoulder. So there could be a chance that he might miss WrestleMania to get a uh, surgery done. We don't know, we just gotta wait and see for more information, but I just felt that the conclusion of Elimination Chamber wasn't strong enough for me. Um, and I'm sure a lot of us wrestling fans were disappointed at the conclusion of the of the elimination chamber but i will say this that it was rare to see brock lesnar celebrate his victory with the fans outside of the ring because if you guys know brock lesnar he's not very much a people person he likes to be quiet he likes to be to himself but i like seeing that that Fans, you know, were with their with their cell phones, and Brock Lesnar was just talking. So that was cool. That was cool. Well, that's my reaction for the Dooley's Elimination Chamber. Um, let me know what you guys think. What are your thoughts about the event itself? And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.